The second annual Children's Art and Literacy Festival was held June 13 through 16, featuring I Spy and Can You See What I See, illustrator Walter Wick. Mr. Wick's exhibition, Games, Gizmos, and Toys in the Attic, opened to great fanfare earlier that week, and the festival activities kicked off Thursday evening with Can You See What I See, Art Walk. The evening began with a thank you dinner for CAF patrons at the Grace Museum. Mayor Norm Archibald proclaimed Friday, June 16th, Walter Wick Day in Abilene. A costume contest and parade were followed by a presentation and book signing by Mr. Wick at the Paramount Theater. Friday and Saturday, festival goers attended dramatic presentations tied thematically to Mr. Wick's books and collected specially designed buttons for their lanyards at each reading. Following each reading, children were treated with a make and take art activity. One of the highlights of the CAF 2013 was a showing of Mr. Wick's newest book, Can You See What I See? Out of This World, at the Abilene ISD Planetarium. Images for the book were projected on the dome of the planetarium and Mr. Wick made a guest appearance on Friday and Saturday to provide the narration for the presentation and answer questions. Other fun activities throughout the two days included train rides in Everman Park on the Seymour Express, watching balloon sculptor David McCullough create larger-than-life balloon sculptures, being mystified by Lonnie Chevry's one-of-a-kind magic tricks, enjoying Sonny the Birdman's seven exotic birds perform feats of daring, and watching Tangled at the Paramount Theater. Children of all ages enjoyed playing a variety of instruments at the Abilene Philharmonic's Instrument Petting Zoo. Calf goers received a Seymour passport with their registration and made the rounds to six different venues to search for the three-foot Seymours that were hidden at the venues. These Seymours are now a permanent part of Abilene's downtown family-friendly activities. Calf registrants also enjoyed traditional festival activities such as face painting, hair braiding, caricatures, games, and cookie decorating. The National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature attracted young and old to enjoy and explore original artwork by Walter Wick. Hundreds of families from throughout the Southwest enjoyed meeting Walter Wick and this uniquely fun and educational experience.